So I've got this power supply. This is an Aztec LPS 255 and I need to replace it. So I'm going to be using this. This is a Meanwell. And I like using these because they are the finest power supplies that I've started using. It's a Meanwell NDR 24024. So the NDR just means that that's the, that's the model type. So this is the cheap industrial version. I love using these. 240 means it's 240 watts. 24 means 24 volts. And it does say the amp rating right here, 10 amp. So this one, it says that it's good for 100 to 250 volts input, but it doesn't tell you what the output is. It just says for output ratings, refer to the instruction sheet. So I just looked this up online, found out that it is a 10 amp, 24 volt output. And uh, of course you can have 100 to 250 volts input. And this is a DIN rail mount. So you can see I pull this guy down and it will lock onto a DIN rail. And so I've got this DIN rail to install. This is by ASI and this is steel. A lot of the ones I see online are aluminum, but I prefer steel. And there are 10 sticks that are one meter long. So this is gonna last me a long time. There we go, like that. See, it holds on, no problem. I don't need this much. I wanna have a little bit extra so that I have some expandability in case I wanna mount something else on it, but I don't need all of this. There we go. And to screw that on, I'm using these. These are uh, number 10 self-drilling screws, three quarters of an inch long. So on the top there's three terminals and there's two more terminals in the bottom. The input is here and then the output is there. So the way that we check that. All right, so right there we're getting 120 volts. We know we have 120 volts coming in. And if I change this to DC, we can kind of see our two connection points right there on the bottom. All right, so I'm seeing 24 volts DC going out. Potentially, you could also find a power supply that has multiple legs. So in other words, you could have a 24 volt rail, a 12 volt rail, 5 volt rail. So if you have one like that, then you just gotta get something that's you know, appropriate for that. But since this one's a simple 10 amp, 24 volts out, this will work perfectly fine. We need to know which terminal is positive. So if I connect here, just anywhere on the case or a screw or whatever, we can see we got 120 there. So I know the red is positive. And on the bottom, the right terminal is positive 24 volts. And then if I go to ohms to the green, I can see that that is ground. So I've got neutral positive ground, red is positive, neutral is white, ground is green. And then on the output, the positive is on the right. So I just have to make sure that I keep those correct when I'm installing this. So before I do anything, I'm gonna show up power. See the screen is off and the fan is stopped, but it's still a good idea to double check everything. Now, one thing that is a little bit different on this one is that it has the line neutral and ground on the bottom. So this is the input and it has the output on the top. So I'm gonna have to move these wires around so that they're going to the correct connectors. Okay, so it looks like this wire, this is the positive. So that's going from here and it's going right into this terminal here. And then there are two wires connected there. So this wire is not gonna be long enough, but I checked the other ones and they look like they will be. So I'm just gonna have to uh, remove this wire and replace it with a different one. And that'll be plenty. So we're good there. These ones on the bottom, they're screwed in from the bottom, so I'm gonna have to kind of remove this in order to get to them. There's two of these screws on this side and two on the other side. You always want to try to keep these screws. A lot of people tend to lose them. They need to go find something, so let's try not to lose them. All right, so now we got this one as a backup. Okay, drop the new wire in. Okay, good. Since so I'm gonna be drilling into this panel, take a box and kind of tape it up. So I got my soft drilling screw here. There we go. Plenty of room for expandability. Like 
take that. So we got volts minus and volts plus. So I can use either of these terminals for my positive. Oh, it's just pretty short. Okay, so I'm gonna shorten this down a little bit. Just to prevent some arcing. Okay, and this is gonna have to come off. use either of these two terminals for the negative. Okay. Okay, these are a little longer, so that's good. So I got the ground first. Make sure it's nice and tight. We can kind of loop that back if we need to. And then the neutral is white. Yeah, I'm going to make this a little shorter. Not a lot, just a little bit. connected. Now I can just kind of S-wrap these down here. There we go. And I try to use different slots here so that I know like the one on the left goes to the left, the one in the middle goes to the middle, the one on the right goes to the right. This makes it easier in the future so there's no guessing. Okay, that's all that's left is to test it. Green is booting. We got a light. The thing is loading up right here. So so far so good. And so there we go. 24.2 volts. And if I wanted to fine tune that, there's a little screw right here for the potentiometer. So you could just reduce that a little bit to make it 24 exactly. But I'm going to leave it right there. And then we'll just test functionality. Make sure everything is working under load. I think we're okay. So now we're just going to test this one for a while. I've got this backup that I can either throw back in here or I can use it as a backup for another reel stand. So I got extra power supplies now. So I give this about a week and then I got two more of them to install on other reel stands providing everything is working good.